My name's James. I'm one of the specialist nurses here in the uh, renal home therapies team for the Cambridge Dialysis Centre, which is part of Addenbrooke's Hospital. The chief benefit of doing um, home dialysis versus in centre is, is quite easy to answer. Because we're not paying nurses to dialyse you, and because you're not having to come in centre three times a week, which is your standard haemodialysis, you can actually dialyse more at home. So we actually say that a patient should be dialysing a minimum of 15 hours a week at home with no two-day gap. So a dialysis patient will generally do three times a week, either on a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or a Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. They'll either dialyse in the morning, the afternoon, or the evening, depending on what slots are available for that particular patient. Home dialysis gives you a bit more flexibility, and we say not to have that two-day gap. So there wouldn't be any sort of natural weekend, which I know a lot of in-centre dialysis patients look forward to, but with doing it at home, you get much more benefit for toxin clearance and fluid balance if you're not having that longer gap where toxins and fluid will build up. So that's the primary benefit for doing home hemodialysis is that you will feel better with less gaps in between your treatment. This depends on the individual. As with everything, um, it's how much the patient is able to do for themselves. So you always start with the patient, which is something that I've always done throughout my nursing career. We see how involved the patient can be in their care, and they'll start generally with a self-care program where they're doing the dialysis therapy for themselves. Sometimes not all patients can manage this by themselves, but a carer, a family member, or a friend is willing to help out and do this with them for them so then we can teach the patient and the carer to work as a team to do dialysis together at home so generally we'll we'll train a, it's normally in my experience the partner husband or wife but sometimes it has been sons and daughters or friends and other friends and relatives that will come in and, and help the patient learn and do the dialysis for themselves Generally, as a rule, we like to say that we'd like a dialysis carer to be at least in the building whilst they're having the dialysis at home, just in case there's any problems with the machine that the patient might not be able to correct whilst they're connected to it, or if they become unwell during the dialysis treatment and will need some additional help. But it's not an absolute. We have trained many people to go home on their own and have dialysed quite successfully on their own. But as a safety measure, we would say generally we'd like someone to be involved in their care. So the patient's journey onto home dialysis involves quite intensive support. Primarily they'll get supported in the unit where they're dialysing to, to learn the machine, to learn the connection and the disconnection and to become self-caring. From then on, um, once they've been identified as potentially wanting to do it at home, we'll then um, contact the company to see if the house can be adapted for it. So then a specialist building company will go out and do the water and electrical works that will need to be done prior to the patient going on home dialysis. This is with the Fresenius system that we're using here. Then once that's in place, we'll arrange for delivery of stocks and stores to be sent to that house, including the dialysis chair and the dialysis machines. Then from there, we'll then bring them to our training suite here and we'll give them an intensive two weeks sort of finishing school where we go through um, making sure that they're happy and that they know what we're doing, making sure we're happy and that they know what they're doing and then we'll go through troubleshooting and machine problems and what to do in an emergency situation and what to do with different machine alarms. We'll talk about disinfecting the machine and changing the filters which is something that patients wouldn't do in centre because the machines are generally looked after by the staff there. So we'll teach them to care for their machines as well as themselves. And then from there, when they are ready to go home, we will go out and dialyse with them on their first session at home. It's quite difficult as, as, a, as a, a dialysis nurse with many years experience to actually be really hands off because you've got to remember that the patient is going to be doing this on their own um, at home. And when I say on their own, I mean preferably with their carer to be a hands-off dialysis nurse to say actually I'm, I'm here just to watch observe and make sure that you're okay I'm sort of my presence is the support and then after that when they're dialysing at home um, we've got a telephone call system so Monday to Friday the office is open 8.30 to 5 so they can call at any time if they've got any problems out of hours 
the dialysis unit here is open till half past 11 on a Monday, Wednesday, Friday for a twilight. And then on a Sunday, we have an on-call phone. So one of us home therapies nurses will take the on-call phone and will be there to sort of deal with any troubleshooting and alarm problems that may, may be causing the patient to, to struggle with their dialysis at home. Generally speaking, um, fistulas will give better clearance than dialysis central lines. Uh, but again, it's not an absolute. Some patients cannot have fistulas because they've had multiple failed fistulas in the past or their veins are not um, suitable for making another fistula. Some, a handful of patients will refuse to have the fistulas because of the fact it's an operation. So we do have a handful of patients who dialyse quite well on a central line at home. And again, we teach them the sort of levels of safety and, and hygiene and cleanliness that they need to be able to care for that dialysis access. So if patients are currently in centre and thinking about um, going home to do dialysis, I'd say start small. Start by getting involved in your care in centre, asking questions primarily and then asking to be taught how to line the machines, how to set up the table, how to get the equipment out that you need and just break it down into, into little stages because it can be quite daunting to try and learn everything at once. But if you break it down and get involved in your care, you'll then sort of take ownership of that and a lot of patients can be empowered by being more involved in their care and some patients who started off just learning to line the machine actually then went on to self-care and are now currently dialysing at home.